Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGamiac.com. Here we are back in Metal Gear Solid 2, continuing the Great Dane achievement. We are doing the plant on hard today. Once again, you want to start off in the Strut F warehouse, and you need to get the M9 first. I highly recommend that for any playthrough, because if you can do this without using the M9, that is impressive. Alright, all the guards in here are going to need a lethal intimidation, and you can't grab the node until you get the key card. so it's best to head back to Strut A. And what you want to do is just want to go across the connecting bridge. Don't worry about the cipher. You can't even take it out because um, the M9 can't shoot down ciphers. And we're going to be in the pump room. You can finally get this guy. You had to skip him last time um, you saw him. So just grab your dog tag. Really easy. And we are using the stealth suit to make things all that easier. So you don't have to worry about uh, any save tricks or anything. Or well, you do like a few times, but it's not that bad. The stealth suit really makes hard and extreme very easy, at least when it comes to regular enemies. Um, when it comes to boss fights, uh, you're on your own there, because uh, you might run into some trouble, but we'll get to that on our extreme. Alright, uh, only the guy on the right um, doesn't use a lethal intimidation, so take out the guy on the left and save him for later and get the guy on the right first. As you can see, I played it safe and just uh, tapped on the chain link fence to lure him over here and got my dog tag that way. Head into the transformer room and you should meet Pliskin and he should give you the SOCOM and now you can do lethal intimidations. Although it's pretty risky because it you don't have the uh, um, suppressor yet. Alright so go out on the bridge, there's no guards here, grab the chaff grenade, that will come in handy for later and head into C strut. And once you're in here, you are going to meet Stillman for the first time. He's going to teach you how to disarm bombs and all that stuff. And on this difficulty, the guards will spawn right after you talk to him, unlike the other difficulties where it gives you a whole safe zone. So get them. They're very easy. Uh, I recommend getting the diner guy first, just because. And there we go. You can grab the node if you haven't already. I'm cutting that out to save you time because I don't want to complete three hour walkthrough because that's a pain to edit and export. Alright, get this guy in the hallway. Once again, he just requires a normal intimidation. These guys are very easy to get. And that stealth suit, you don't have to worry about waiting. You can just run right up to him and get it. R remember to de-equip it um, before you go in front of him. That's the tip. There's going to be a guard out here on the BC connecting bridge. Uh, BC? No, CD. Uh, if you're fast enough and go out here, you can actually see the uh, Pliskin Easter egg. But uh, we're not going to do that this time. Uh, and grab the next dog tag. There's going to be a camera here. You want to bust out your SOCOM and take it out. I highly recommend taking out any cameras right when you see them. Because they will call for backup and bring the ruckus. Alright, uh, sediment pool. There's going to be four guys in here. I recommend getting this guy first. And with these guys, I recommend taking out their radios. Um, because you don't want them calling backup. And trouble coming. Uh, also, there's a trophy if you're on PS3 for shooting X amount of radios. This guy's going to see the guy, and he's going to see his buddy. I'm going to stick him up right here. And that's the cool thing about the stealth suit. You can intimidate them from the front. So, it um, gives you a lot of flexibility. And there's going to be a third guy on this side. And I recommend saving the bottom guy for last because he requires lethal and if you take him out he will uh, call backup or backup will come and inspect. So grab this guy and then you can grab the last guy by heading on downstairs. You're going to have to go downstairs anyways to grab the uh, bombs so you know make it an effort to get this guy. He'll be wandering around this whole bottom area so just look for him. The node's also down here as well, and as I said before, he requires lethal, so shoot off one of his arms, and remember to de-equip your stealth suit, and there we go, it's another one down. Alright, got him, and I'm going to uh, put him to sleep, and now you can skip ahead, I skipped me getting all the bombs and stuff, and I'm not going to show you where those are, because, you know, that's spoiling a big part of the game. I'm just here to show you to get the achievements. Anyways, uh, head on outside. It's over here. And uh, I'm going to hurry up before backup comes and uh, shoots me. Here is the DE connecting bridge. 
and you have a mini cutscene here. Same thing as before, you want to take out the guard on the higher level so he doesn't look down on us. And now you can just rush the other guy and uh, with the stealth suit you don't need to take your time which is really cool. He's going to be heading downstairs so we're going to uh, try to catch him right here. And stick him up. I'm going to shot out his radio just just because uh, I didn't have much clearance there so I used the chokehold method where I just brought him back a bit. Uh, this guy requires lethal so have your SOCOM ready and uh, grab it. Alrighty, and I'm going to put this guy to sleep. Uh, if you're trying to go for a non-lethal playthrough, which I don't recommend because it's pretty hard and there's no achievement for it, so the only reason to do it is, you know, just for your own self-gratification. Or if you really want that snake or fox rating, uh, but no one gives a crap about that, to be completely honest. Uh, Alright, so this guy... Uh, I recommend choke holding him and bringing him back because there are two other guys who will pay attention to this area. Like that guy right there, he's like watching this direction. And obviously when you unequip your stealth suit, they will investigate and uh, call for backup. So I like bringing this guy all the way to the staircase right here. And that is a pretty safe zone. It is the uh, place where the uh, you get the last guard on very easy. It's that level 5 uh, door. Um, and then I got him right here, shot out his radio, and got a, another dog tag. Now, that's it. And the next two guys are a pain to get, because they both require lethal, and we don't have the SOCOM suppressor yet. So what you can do is you can either get the SOCOM suppressor, or you can and uh, do my method right here. Alright, uh, so I'm going to get this guy closest to the stairs by punching him out. And punching him out, uh, make sure he wakes up um, like quickly. He will wake up if you trank him, but it takes a very long time. And uh, you don't want that because, you know, trying to save time. So just punch this guy out. Alright, he should have stars over his head. And that is your cue to uh, hold this guy up. I'm going to bring him back a bit just for safety precautions. Also, there are cameras here. Uh, but you don't want to take him out yet unless you have the SOCOM suppressor. And once again, we're trying to do all the struts in order. Um, once again, both guys require lethal. So shoot out an arm. And uh, grab your dog tag and finish him off. There we go. And now what you want to do is you want to keep your SOCOM out. And we're going to shoot this guy in the leg. One, that will cause him to wake up faster. And two, that will um, cover our requirement for his lethal um, intimidation. So, just grab it. I'm going to hurry up before the attack team comes because the other guy woke up. And uh, I'm just going to hurry up along here. Also, recommend taking out all the cameras at this point just to make things a bit easier for later on. Uh, especially if you're going after the bomb in this room and, you know, actually playing the story and not worrying about collectibles. Alright. And this room is quite the pain. Uh, it rivals the warehouse on... Uh, other difficulties because there's more guards in here and just their requirements it's really annoying all right once that's done we're gonna head upstairs and go to the heliports there's gonna be three guards here just like the other playthroughs um all right uh you're gonna get the cutscene where you meet uh, Olga for the first time uh, I recommend getting the two guards on the upper floor first start off with the one that's closest to you and that'll be this guy right here and we shoot out his radio just in case and then we're gonna grab our next dog tag there we go and now you're gonna get the next guy who's over here there we go and just going to grab our next dog tag and the reason we save the guy on the lower level for last is he requires lethal and we still don't have the SOCOM suppressor so if you shoot it these guards will call back up and that's all bad. So head on back downstairs. You can use a cartwheel to save time. Because cartwheeling downstairs doesn't make you fall, but cartwheeling upstairs does. He's going to be over here. Just stick him up. Take out your SOCOM. You know, be ready. Because we're running out of bullets. And we are pretty starved for bullets. Because you can't use the stealth suit and the infinite ammo wig at the same time. But, you know, that's, that's the price of cheating. You can only choose one. Alright, so grab that, and what you want to do is you just want to make your way back and 
uh, to the um, parcel room and we're gonna work our way to the next strut alrighty so we're gonna head on downstairs head on downstairs you can cartwheel to save time you wanna go down here and then head into this door in this corner and you're gonna be on the EF connecting bridge it's the annoying one with all the claymores they're gonna teach you how to disarm claymores just duck and crawl all the way across there should be three on the main path and a couple on the sides if you want to get those uh, you should get all the claymores because it makes it easier when you're like heading to shell one and stuff so you don't trip alert mode but you know whatever is up to you you know it's up to you on how you want to play head into the next strut and that's the warehouse and you can finally grab the SOCOM suppressor but what I recommend doing first is grabbing the node because uh, that's important so get the node it's in this room because we can finally access this room once you get the node uh, head into this vent and at the end of it should be the SOCOM suppressor and uh, I recommend equipping it right when you get it in case you forget uh, all right uh, the first guard is gonna be right by the door uh, I recommend choke holding him in and then holding him up Freeze. <laughs> and I'm gonna shoot out his radio just in case and let's grab our next dog tag All right, got that. And the next guy, you want to leave uh, outside the door again. He's going to be wandering the middle area, and you want to uh, choke hold him and bring him in. Um, I believe this guy requires lethal, but it doesn't matter anymore because we have the uh, SOCOM suppressor, and that makes our job way easier. So we're going to grab him and shoot out his radio in case. And I'm just gonna grab it right here. Yep, he requires lethal, so I shot an arm out. And go to my next dog tag. There we go. Alright, his buddy that goes up from the second floor and the third floor will notice that his friend's not there. And he's going to be confused and try to inspect the area. Occasionally he will come in here. Don't worry, because you have your stealth suit on, so he won't be able to see you. And you want to hold him up when he is none the wiser. And you can grab your next dog tag. I'm not sure if he requires lethal. I just played it safe and shot him in the arm. Uh, once again, just make the most of your bullets. Um, because you are pretty limited on this difficulty. Uh, at least in the guard um, sections. Because you have, you have you're probably using your stealth suit most of the time. So you're not going to have the infinite wig uh, uh, ammo wig out. I can talk. All right, uh, all right. Uh, head upstairs and um, get the last guy. He's really easy because there's only one guy left, unless he calls for backup, which is all bad. Uh, get him. Same strategy as always. I shot out his radio just in case, and uh, he requires lethal as well. So shot out, shoot out his arm, and uh, grab your next dog tag before backup comes. All right, uh, that's done. You can. Finish up here, get the bomb and all that good stuff, and continue to the next strut. And you go that you do that by going down here and go on the FA connecting bridge. There will be a guard out here as well as that cipher from earlier. So first advice, take out the cipher first, which your new SOCOM suppressor. The guard will suspect something when it explodes, um, but he won't expect um, inspect it unless it's close to him, so you can still do this. I believe this guy requires lethal. I'm not sure, but I just played it safe here once again, and uh, I accidentally threw him. I meant to choke hold him and bring him back, but this way works too. And I'm just trying to get in front of him and get my dog tag. All right, there we go. That's another one down. And continuing on, we're gonna move back to the A strut, which is right here. Alrighty, now that we have our uh, card key, we can head into the lower section. But before we do that, I'm going to take this guy out so he doesn't give us any trouble. And he looks like he needed a nap, so I just put him to sleep. Uh, first thing I recommend doing is taking out the camera. Right here, and there we go. You can grab some bullets if you need it. And the guard will be around this corner. And we can go in the front this time and let's grab another one. And there we go. Alrighty, uh, grab the bomb if you are still paying, playing the story. Well, you should be. I'm just cutting that out to save the, to make this easier to edit. And you want to head back outside and head up the staircase on the left, and we're gonna get the guard on the roof. There is also a bomb on the roof uh, on hard difficulty. They put more bombs in. That is a, a tip in case you're 
wondering uh, how you got all the bombs and still haven't finished the game. They add more. You can kind of see it in the background there. So hit there. I just give you a, a location right there. It's right next to this guard. You should thank me. Thank me in the comments. All right. Uh, I grab this guy. Really easy. And we're gonna cut right here until the um, strut B. All right. So here's the A B connecting bridge. Now that you have the SOCOM, you can get the guard on the left, so I recommend uh, doing that. So, you got a cartwheel across here. I accidentally stepped on the grate, but he turned around. But that stealth suit really comes in handy. Uh, you don't have to worry about that guy anymore, because we already got him. And I'm going to shoot out an arm, and grab our next dog tag. And there we go. That's another one down. Alright, continue on to strike B. Now that uh, the Pliskin meeting is over, we can finally get the guards in here. There's going to be two in here, as with any difficulty, but their um, arrangement is a little different because there are cameras in this hallway now. So what I recommend doing first is taking out your SOCOM and taking out the two cameras. There's one right here and one right there. Hopefully you're a better shot at me and can save your bullets by taking them out in one shot. And uh, once you get those two done, head into the room. There's going to be two guards in here. Uh, probably activate the node if you forgot like I did, but you know, whatever. Get this guy. Make sure they're separate because if you uh, de-equip your stealth camo, the other guard will suspect something and call for backup, and that's not good. As you can see, I'm like rushing right here and got this guy and quickly, uh, quickly uh, equip my stealth camo and wait for this guy to go downstairs and got him as well. Both these guys don't require lethal, so that's another uh, thing to keep in mind. We're going to skip ahead to after the Fat Man boss fight, and same thing as all the other difficulties. Once you beat him, drag his dead body, and you should get Stillman's dog tag. And then you want to head on out after dishonoring the last bomb, and get all the new guards that spawned on connecting bridges after the Fat Man fight. So you want to obviously start in strut E, because you're going to have to, to go downstairs. And I recommend working your way backwards, and starting with the D. So go in this direction and head to the DE connecting bridge. Alright, there's going to be a new guard out here. He's going to be the one that's closest to you, which is this guy right here. Uh, don't worry about the guard looking um, down. He cannot see the lower level. And don't worry about the guard that's over there because he will not be able to look over here. So get this guy. There we go. And you can continue on. You can take out this guy if you want to play it safe. Don't have to, uh, I just wanted to, just for the hell of it. And head into strut D, and you can take the lower route or the upper route, whatever suits you. I like taking the upper route, just because. Alright, we already took care of all the guards here, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. And make your way over here, grab the ration if you need it, those things come in handy, especially on the higher difficulties. Especially on extreme, I only found one in the whole game. So uh, get used to saving your rations, because you're gonna start needing them for boss fights. Because this game gets pretty hard on hard, which is to be expected. All right, CD connecting bridge. There's gonna be a guard out here, and another guard. I recommend taking out the guard we already got already. So the first one, which is right here. Uh, the reason for that is this guy will inspect the other guy, and we don't want him calling back up. So after he's taken out, you want to take out the other guy. This guy has a dog tag, and he is new. So hold him up and get your dog tag. It's really important. It's the whole point of the achievement, right? All right. Now that you got that out of the way, you want to continue on to strut C, and it's gonna cartwheel our way across the bridge. And in strut C, you don't have to worry about any guards. We already got all of them, so you can speed through it. You can take them out if you want to. Really is a waste of bullets on any difficulty higher than normal to just worry about the guards. All right, BC connecting bridge. There's going to be a guard out here for the first time. Uh, what I recommend doing is taking out the cipher. And as I uh, mentioned earlier, if you blow up the cipher close to the guard, he will suspect something. But with the stealth camo on, you don't have to worry about that. Grab your next dog tag. Really easy. And we're going to cut ahead here to Shell 1. And you're going to have to grab the AK and all that stuff. And then head into Shell 1. There's going to be a bunch of guards in here. There's going to be a bunch of cameras. Take out the first camera. Because it's, it's annoying. And take out the cameras in this hallway right here. And there's going to be one way over here. And there's going to be one up here. 
And uh, there we go. Alright, next step. Uh, get the node because it helps you to know where the guards are on your map. And I recommend getting the node for uh, any difficulty. Just because, you know, it makes... Having a map is easy. Having the salt on radar is useful. Alright, for these guards, you can either wait for them to separate or you can use my trick, which is the chokehold trick. Where I'll just chokehold one and then bring him into the locker room and get his dog tag that way. And do that for all three guards in this room. It takes a long time, but it's best to be safe than sorry, as I like to say. And a lot of people say, because it's a saying. And that's what sayings are. Stuff people like to say. And yeah. That's totally not me rambling to kill time. And, uh... Alright, so I'll get this guy. And, uh... Freeze. Grab your next dog tag. No guards ever come into the locker room, which is really fortunate for us. And that's a great, uh, little hidey hole. I grab the next guy. And, uh, you can also use the, uh, locker room method here. And you just wait for them. I'm gonna run around in circles to kill time. Gotta do some stretching, of course. And just gonna wait it out here. All right, let's get let's get into the locker room. And uh, bringing this guy back. All right, uh, I decided not to go all the way and just left him around the corner. And got my next dog tag. All right, another one down. All right, we're gonna continue down the hallway and uh, just cartwheel our way along. And let's just keep checking along. There's gonna be a guard right over here. He's the last one in this room. And you can grab your next dog tag. There we go. There's also a camera in this room. Uh, I didn't show me taking it out, but there's a camera. It's right above us. You can kind of see it. All right. Uh, after that guy's taken out, you want to equip your AK and your BDU. Even with the stealth camo, you're not gonna get past the elevator unless you have your AK and body disguise uniform out. So equip that equip those and uh, head on into the elevator all right you want to head into basement two and the cool thing is with the stealth camo you're not gonna need to use the safe trick so which is uh, really awesome so get the first guy he's right here buy a ration and get, grab the ration if you need it and uh, this guy's gonna require lethal so bust out your socom shoot him in the arm or the leg and grab your next dog tag there we go. Alrighty, and what you want to do now is head on into the main computer room. And with the stealth camo, you can use this method by using the chokehold and just bring them out. So grab the one that's closest to you. Uh, I accidentally threw that guy, which is uh, my bad. But I'm going to use the ch uh, oops, throw him again. <laughs> I want to be careful. If you throw him one too many times, he'll get knocked out, and we don't want that happening. So using the chokehold method, the guard will suspect something, but they will never leave the computer room, which is really cool. So just keep bringing this guy, bring him around the corner. I like to use this, this is kind of a safe spot for me. Uh, you might want to drag him further if you want to, or closer if you want to take the risk, uh, up to you. But just get your dog tag like normal. Really cool this time, because we don't need the safe trick. And once you get him, just do the same thing for the other two guards. Alright, so just get the next guard that's closest to you. Drag them on out. You can see the Police Knots poster there. Great game. Uh, I wish there was a remake. On modern systems, but that's neither here nor there. Alright, so get this guy. Same thing. Bring him to this corner. Or you can bring him in the opposite corner if you want to. You know, I don't choose your corners. It's up to you. But grab this guy. He's going to be uh, right here. And get your next dog tag. And there we go. Alright. Uh, remember to knock him out so he doesn't call back up. That's pretty important. Alright, now that there are no guards in here besides this guy, you can just get him right here like normal. And uh, just grab your last dog tag for this room. Alright, now that's that's done. You can grab your uh, node and directional mic and all that stuff and head back to the elevator. All right, we're gonna head back to, into the elevator. Uh, remember to stretch before you get into the elevator. That's always important. Stretching is good. And we're gonna head to basement one. Once again, we're not gonna need the save trick thanks to our handy dandy stealth suit as well as the chokehold method. So grab the node first. Uh, this is killing time and letting the guard just come out of the room. He's gonna be right here and once he goes out, you can just hold him up. 
And there we go. And just gonna try to get him right here and get our dog tag. All right, that was easy. All right, head on inside, and you're gonna have the first guy uh, choke hold trick and bring him outside. Just gonna bring him over here by the lockers and hold him up like normal. And I'm gonna take out his radio just in case. Oh, uh, another tip uh, in case you are actually shooting radios, you might shoot them in the lower back, and that will put them to sleep in a, in a couple of seconds. So be wary of that. In case you mess up, but uh, so if you shoot them in the lower back, obviously you want to hurry up and get your dog tag. This guy by the magazines is gonna require a lethal, so shoot out his arm. But you you want to save him for last, obviously, uh, because the uh, even though the SOCOM with the suppressor doesn't make that much noise, the guard will scream if you shoot out an arm and will attract any nearby guards. All right, so we're gonna skip ahead now to we rescue Emma. This is after the president and all that. Stupid stuff with the freaking Harrier boss fight. Uh, don't even get me started about that fight on Extreme, man. That thing was brutal. All right, first guard's gonna be in the lobby. He's gonna be right here. Uh, he's really easy to get. Uh, once again, be careful not to shoot him in the lower back like I did right there. Uh, but even if you do, just hurry up and get your dog tag before he falls asleep. Uh, next guard's gonna be all the way down here. Same thing as the other difficulties. You want to nab your dog tag. This time you don't have to wait for him to turn around. You can just go for it. Thanks to the uh, good old stealth suit. Uh, once again, try not to mess up and shoot him in the lower back. Like I do. And always aim for the walkie-talkie. Or aim away, you know. Depends on you. Uh, I recommend dragging his body out of the way. Um, into the corner. I mentioned this on our normal playthrough. It's uh, best to move him out of the way. So, um, the guard that spawns there. Guard number four or guard number five rather, doesn't uh, suspect anything, so um, that is a tip to keep in mind. Alright, so you're going to have to bring Emma along to get the other guards to spawn. Leave her in the lobby, and there should be a guard in this hallway right now. And you can go after him right here, and you can get your dog tag like this. Uh, this guy's going to require lethal though, so bust out your SOCOM and take out an arm. And grab your next dog tag. And there we go. All right, after that's complete, you want to go back for Emma. I don't recommend leaving her in this room because the elevator guard will come here and shoot her. Then Otacon is going to get mad at us because we killed his only sister. All right, so bring her down here. Once you turn the corner, the guard in the elevator should come down. So once you turn this corner, he's going to come out of the elevator. And that is your cue to rush after him before he wakes up the lobby guard. So I'm just gonna run over here, he's gonna go in here and uh, do stuff and get him. And grab our next dog tag. Really easy. And there we go. Alrighty, uh, now for the next guard. This is the guard I told you to move the guard 2 over. As you can see on my Salton radar, there's a red dot right there, and you can kind of see him in the shadows. As you can see, this guy spawns where he used to be, so obviously... Uh, you had to move him out of the way so he wouldn't uh, wake him up and you'd have two guards to worry about. So just to make things easier on you, just a little tip. And grab your next dog tag. Uh, go back for Emma. And she's going to be over here. And you want to drag her. A tip for dragging her faster, if you shove her and then uh, hit the Y button, you don't have to wait for her to stand up. So, you know, that's, a, that's another tip if you're impatient. And don't have to... Uh, Worry about her standing up and that whole animation that takes way too long. Alright, when you bring her to the staircase, the uh, guard in the doorway is going to spawn. So you can grab your dog tag like normal. He's the last guard for this room, so don't worry about any others. And you can get it. Alright, cutting ahead, we're going to bring her outside and off to the uh, bridge right here. The KL connecting bridge. First step you want to do is equip your stealth camo and bust out your SOCOM. And you want to take out the ciphers. And the cool thing with the uh, stealth suits is you can take them up from up close. So I think I got a little too close there. Actually, I'm going to hold this guy up. And while he's held up, I'm going to grab the ciphers. Uh, this guy's going to be in the same place as he is on any other difficulty. Just on this bridge. So just get that. And now, going back for Emma. This is the L strut. Uh, this is cutting ahead after you put out the fire and cross the bridge. 
Uh, with the stealth suit, you can choke hold this guy and bring him back without the other guard uh, paying attention. Equip a gun and hold him up. And just snatch your next stock tag. Really easy. Really easy. Remember to unequip your stealth suit. Uh, we're a couple playthroughs in, and I'm still making the same mistake. But, you know, that's alright. Uh, alright, so get him. That guy has a really long name, but uh, I guess that's common for those kind of countries. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, get the next guy. He's gonna be down here. Same thing. Really easy. Alright, so now that you got that, you we are gonna cut ahead to after the second vamp boss fight in that whole sniper sequence. And once again, is very annoying on extreme. Alright, so we're gonna head back out. The guard in the parcel room is gonna be here. Once again, he's gonna be patrolling the area. But you don't have to worry about that because we have our stealth suit and you can catch him off guard. So he's gonna be patrolling down this hallway. You can just catch him right here. He's gonna be jamming out to some music. And get your next dog tag. This guy's gonna require lethal on hard, so just shoot him in the arm. And this is the last guard that has a dog tag. So grab your last guard dog tag, and then you have your very last dog tag, which is dog tag zero. Same thing as any other difficulty, you wanna knock out Snake by doing cartwheels or punching him. Careful, because he will hit you, and that will take off your health. Once he's down, drag his dead body, and you should get the last dog tag. And that's it.